Hello, my name is Di Thomas and in this video we're going to demonstrate some activities which are designed to assess and develop a learner's alphabetical knowledge. We're going to demonstrate some activities based on an alphabet arc technique and these activities can be incorporated into teaching and learning sessions to allow for overlearning of letter formation and repetition of letter sequencing within the alphabet. These activities can be made more challenging over time as the learner's confidence and knowledge of the alphabet progresses. Okay, um, Johan, uh, seated here, is going to help me with this activity this morning. And as you can see, Johan, what we've got in the middle of the desk are the different letters of the alphabet all jumbled up. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, like we did the other day, is we're going to put these letters into the right alphabet order. Okay. Can you remember, first of all, what the first letter of the alphabet is? A. A. And can you find it on the table there for me, buddy? Fantastic. Okay, so we'll put A there at the start. Can you remember what the last letter of the alphabet was? Z. Z. Okay, and we'll put that over there. Fantastic. And we're going to put two other markers now then into our alphabet arc, and we're going to put the two letters that go in the middle. Okay, do you know, or can you guess, what the letters in the middle of the alphabet might be? Is it M and M? Fantastic, well done. Can you find both those letters for me? Um. Fantastic, so we'll have those two letters in the middle. Okay, now last time we did this activity, you were fantastic, you got all the letters in the right place, and it took you 1 minute 24 seconds to get them all done. Do you think you can beat your time this morning? Okay. Should we give it a go? Yeah. Okay, so you tell me when you're ready, and I'm going to ask you to put the letters where you think they go. I'm ready. Okay. Off you go. two over. Fantastic. Go one letter left. Remember where that goes. That is fantastic. Well done. Okay. Are you happy that your alphabet looks right? No. No. What problems can you see, buddy? Something to do with the L. Something to do with the L. Well, I'll give you a clear. That L is perfectly correct, buddy. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, first, um... <laughs> Last time you did that, and you did that in a minute and 24 seconds, do you think you were faster or slower this time? Slower. Do you think you were slower too? Would you be happy if I told you you were faster? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, well you were faster. Do you want to have a guess how fast you were? Um, 45 seconds. 45 seconds, a little bit slow that is one minute and four seconds, so still 20 seconds faster than last time, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. So well done, that's fantastic. Okay, yeah. so you've put all 26 letters then into the alphabet, and well done. What I'd like you to do next for me is to go round to make sure they're in the right place, and either you can touch the letter or mm. you can point to it, and starting off from the first letter and working all the way round to the end, I'd like you to tell me the name of each letter as you go around, please. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Fantastic. Well done. So we know the letters are in the right order. Fantastic. What I'd like you to do this time, starting off with A again, Exactly like you did before, but instead of telling me the name of the letters this time, what I'd like you to do is to tell me the sound that they make. Okay. Okay? 
Avocado Fantastic. Well done. No problem so far. Okay. Yesterday then when we looked at this, we said there were two types of letters and we said there were consonants, which made up most of the letters. What was the other type of letters we had? Vowels. Vowels. Fantastic. Well done. Can you remember how many there were? Five. Five. Okay. Do you think you could identify the vowels for me? Well done. That's it. You can take them out and put them in the centre. That'd be fantastic. Fantastic. So, you've identified the five vowels. Well done. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to mix them up a little bit. And I'm going to ask you if you can put them back in the correct order in the alphabet arc. Are you okay. happy to do that? Yeah. Okay, so. Can you put the letters back where they go, please, buddy? That's fantastic. Well done. So, so far then, you remember there were 26 letters of the alphabet. Mm. You remember there were five vowels. You've picked the five vowels out correctly. You've set all the letters out in the right place. Looking round the alphabet arc, I can tell you that we've got one letter which is facing in the wrong direction. And this letter is near the middle of your arc. Fantastic. Well done. Excellent. Okay, so no problem so far this morning. You're only doing really well. Right, what I'm going to do now then to make it a bit more challenging, like we did last time, I'm going to go round and I'm going to steal some of the letters off the alphabet. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to either close your eyes mm -hmm. or turn away or not sitting, I guess, peeking. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to steal some of the letters and I'm going to push them together so you can't see the gaps. And I'm going to see if you can work out which letters I've stolen. Are you happy to do that? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. So, if you close your eyes. Okay, when you're ready. Fantastic. Right, so we're looking a bit difficult, different. <laughs> What have I taken? A. A. Okay, so we'll put these back in the middle for now, okay? D. E. E. O. Well done. P. Well done. Okay, is that? Are you sure? I've still got um, one letter in my hand. And I'll give you a clue. It's somewhere in the second half of the alphabet. Okay. So here. So spot on. In that sort of area there, you're quite right. So keep going around from there towards the end. W. W. Fantastic. Well done, Ewan. And where should that one go? That's brilliant, thank you very much. Right, are you happy to do that one more time? Okay. Okay, fantastic. Right, if you close your eyes and turn away. Okay, when you're ready, you can have a look. What have I done this time? B. B. Okay. D. C. E. No, I don't know. No, you're doing really well. I'll um. give you a clue. I've got two left in my hand.
Hey, no. You're still doing really well. You're working way round. Keep going again into the second half of the alphabet. Z and Y. Z and Y, fantastic. And you put those two back as well, please. Fantastic. Right, earlier on then, when we put some of the letters back from the start, are you happy with the order those have gone back in that? Fantastic, well done, excellent. Right, mm -hmm. this time then, I don't think that's challenging enough. What I'm going to do, instead of stealing letters, this time I'm going to move them about and put them in the wrong place. So I could, for example, take B, and I could swap it with O. Okay, okay. so what I'm going to ask you to do look is look away and see what I've done to mess it up. Okay, you can look now. So, I've moved four letters. Can you work out which ones I've moved? Well done. Fantastic, well done Johan. Excellent. Right, this time then our last challenge, I'm going to make it triply challenging for you. Okay, and what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to steal some of the letters. I'm also going to mix some of the letters up like we just did. And some letters I might turn them round so they're facing the wrong way. So for example, I might have the C facing like that. Okay. You happy to give that a go? Yeah. So you're looking for three things this time, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, when you're ready, you one. Right, what have I done? Well done. So you've identified the F was facing the wrong way. Fantastic. So D and E were in the wrong place. Well done, the R was facing the wrong way. Okay. Why? Why? Well done. So, identify the Y was missing. I've got two more letters in my hand. Can you work out which ones I've stolen? L. L, fantastic. And what's our last Q. one, buddy? Q. Well done. Thank you, Owen. Well done. So, so far today, you've been really patient and you've worked really well. You've set out the alphabet in an arc. You worked out which way the letters go. You've worked out which letters I've stolen. You've worked out which letters I've moved about. Yeah. So, I think it's only fair that you get the chance to do something back to me now. Okay, okay. so I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to ask you to mess about with the alphabet as much or as little as you want. I'm going to see if I can work out what you've done. It doesn't have to be in an arc. You can mess about with it as much as you like. As okay. long as when I open my eyes there's still something left on the table. Okay. okay. So I'm going to close my eyes. Okay. And you tell me when you're ready. Okay. Okay.
we can open your oh, eyes. My eyes. Right, okay, you've done a really good job of messing that up there, haven't you? <laughs> right, okay, let's see what you've done then. The last time you did this to me, there was one thing that I missed. Okay, so if I miss anything today, I don't want you to tell me. Okay. Okay, but if I have missed something, you can give me some clues at the end. Okay. Right. Is that okay? Yeah. Right, okay, so I can see then you've moved A and B around. So I'm going to put those back there. Okay. Let's see. D. Am I doing okay so far? Yeah. Yeah. E and F and G. Okay. I, J, K. And we've got L, M, N, O, P. Right, you've stolen the cue. Look. I'm not looking. The Q. Uh, let me see. I think you've also stolen the R. Thank you. Okay. T. Right, I think there's something missing there. You've stolen the S as well. Fantastic. Thank you. U, W, X, Y, Z. Right, okay, I think I'm done. H. Didn't notice Please that. Around. Right, okay. Um. So I've missed the H, so I need to put that back in. So let's check. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. The M was meant to be the other one. Well done, didn't notice that. Q, R, S, T, U, ah, that's not right. V, W, X, Y, Z. Got it in the end. Well done. Thank you for that, Ewan. Right, we're very nearly finished, if you're pleased to know. We're going to do two more things, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Right, this time I'm going to ask you to close your eyes again. And I'm going to ask you to put one of your hands out for me. Oh. Okay. And I'm going to put a letter in your hand. And what you can do, you can feel it with your other hand. And I want you to see if you can work out what letter it is. <laughs> okay, you're hiding behind you here. Are you happy to do this one? Okay. What's our first letter? O. O. Well done. And can you put that in the middle of the table for me, please, you know one? Fantastic. Okay. You ready for your second letter? Okay. Okay, fantastic. Well done. You can put that on the table. Well done. And I'm going to give you one more if that's okay. Can you tell me what that one is? It's an R. That's an R. Fantastic. Well done. Okay, and you can put that one down on the table as well, please. Brilliant. Okay, so you can open your eyes back up. So those are the three letters then that I put in your hand and you felt and touched them to work out what they were. Were any of those tricky? No. No? Were they all easy? Yeah, because you could the O you could just you could just feel the lines around. So the O was an easy one because that's just a circle, isn't it? And then the K it's just there's two lines. So Okay, so that's a good way of remembering it. Then the R is like a P just with a thing there. Okay, so with another line pointing down at the end. That's fantastic. Well done. Right, are you happy to do one more thing that's similar to that? Alright. Okay, this time I'm not going to put letters in your hand. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do this without tickling. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you to put your hand out and close your eyes. And with the end of my pencil, I'm going to trace a letter out onto your hand. So mm -hmm. if, for example, I did that... Oh. That would be a B. Fantastic. Well done. Okay, so we'll take that one out as our example. You happy for me to do two more? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, the next one I'm going to do then is... I. Fantastic. Well done. I'll take that out. 
And the last one we're going to do is W. W, fantastic. Well done. And I'll take that out and put that in the middle as well. You can open your eyes back up, Leo, and thank you. So those are the letters you identified then just by touch. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I'd like you to do now, I'm going to ask you to put these back in. And what I'd like you to do first of all is put back the letter which comes three spaces after L. That is fantastic. Well done. Can you now put back the letter which comes five spaces after H? So five spaces before H. Fantastic, well done. Can you put back the letter which comes between H and J? Are you sure on that one? Well corrected, well done. Can you put back the letter which comes three spaces after O? That's fantastic, well done. Can you put back the letter which goes between J and L? And finally, we left with W. That's fantastic. Right. Earlier on then, we said that we could split the letter, uh, the alphabet into two halves. Okay. And our two halves of the alphabet go there between that pencil. So the first half of the alphabet starts with the letter ah, and goes up to, M. and the second half goes from N to Z. N to Z. Fantastic. To finish this off then, Ewan, what I'd like you to do, if you're happy, is to put the letters back into the tub for me. Mm -hmm. And as you do it, I'd like you to start off with the first half of the alphabet mm -hmm. and as you pick the letter up, I want you to tell me what sound it makes before you put it back in the tub. Okay. Okay. So when you're ready. A. Uh, well done. B. T. D. Well done. Uh, F. G. Uh, eh. Well done. Chill. Well done. K. Well done. L. Well done. M. Thank you, Ewan. Well done. So we've put away the first half of the alphabet. The last job now then is to put away the second half. And what I'd like you to do is to start with Z and work backwards. And this time I want you to tell me the name of the letter as you put it away. Z, Y, X, W, well done. V, U, T, S, well done. R, Q, P, O, that's fantastic, Ewan. Well done. Thank you very much for your help today. Within the last video, we demonstrated some alphabet activities which were designed to help assess and progress a learner's knowledge of the alphabet. Some of the activities included asking the learner to set the letters out in the correct sequence and formation, asking the learner to self-check whether the letters are facing in the correct direction, and we also played some simple and effective games including steal the letter and letter jumble to see whether the learner was able to recognise when differences were made to the alphabet that they had set out.